the fire was so bright and it was so white that you couldn't focus on anything to the left or the right of it. This is what firefighters were dealing with as the historic barn at the preserve at Shakurawa was destroyed in an overnight fire. Sam Warren, who lives nearby, was woken up by his neighbor around 10 o'clock. Because the uh, flames were coming off of the barn so high that there were embers flying over our, our building and he said you might want to start thinking about getting your things together because I don't know how far this fire is going to spread. Firefighters were able to keep the fire from spreading thanks in part to a fire captain who lives nearby and immediately called for additional manpower as he saw the glow in the sky. I'm only maybe a thousand yards through the woods here so as soon as I got in the truck I requested a second alarm. The fire would eventually go to three alarms. The captain says based on what they saw when they got here, they have an idea where it started. The front side still had its roofing and everything. The back side, the roofing was all gone. So we think it started in the back side. We're not sure exactly where. The barn had been a fixture in the community since the late 1800s and was a popular place for receptions and weddings. I live with an earshot of, of here and it seems like it's every three or four days there's another wedding going going on. Now all that is gone and one woman who works at the preserve says this place represents much more than just a job. It's a family. It's a it's part of me now. My family. I feel these people are my family too. And oh, it's just too hot. I did speak with one of the owners, Mary Phelps. She was too distraught, understandably, to go on camera, but she did say they would be okay. Reporting live in Tamworth, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.